my name is Alyssa Siegel. I'm an artist, uh, mostly a painter, but I do a little bit of sculpture. And um, I have flowers on my mind. Uh, I just finished painting a mural with some really big flowers floating through the air. And I thought it would be fun to come here today and show you how to make some little floating flowers of your own. Um, and we're going to do it with some really basic materials you can find around your house. Here we go. Uh, you will need aluminum foil, a pencil, some colorful waterproof markers, a pair of scissors, a needle and thread, a scrap piece of paper so that you don't get marker on your table, and um, optional is uh, a chopstick or a twig or stick you can find outside. Um, so the first thing I did was I tore off a piece of foil about as long as my arm, uh, about two feet long, and I folded it in half with the shiny side out. And now I'm going to fold it again, and this is giving me four layers. And each time I fold it, I smooth it out a little bit. And one more fold gives me eight layers, and that's going to be a nice sturdy surface for my flower. Um, so draw a flower. Um, anything you like, you can make it up. You can copy it. It's really easy to make flowers using basic shapes like circles, half circles, almonds, that type of thing. Here's a cone flower with a half circle and some almond shapes. And I'm gonna make a really nice fat stem for this flower. I make it really thick so that it's not a weak point when I cut out my flower. And I'm gonna add some leaves, which are a little bit like heart shapes. And now I'm ready to cut out my flower. So when I'm cutting out something that has um, a little bit of detail like this, I like to just cut away the extra bits and get them out of my way and just make it a little easier on myself. And then I can come in here and get all the extra stuff cut away. And as I'm cutting, the scissors are pressing the layers of foil together. So that's going to help them stay together um, when it's all cut out. And if yours starts peeling apart and you don't like that, um, a little drop of glue between the layers will stick it back together again. And when I do this, I really do not worry too much about being too careful. Um, if I am cutting and I decide that I want my petals to be bigger or longer than how I drew them, then I'll just cut outside the lines and it's done. And if I make a really big mistake, like I cut through my stem or I cut off a petal, then I'll just set that aside and get a new piece of foil and draw myself a new flower and I'm up and running again because it's super easy to just start this project going. Now I've got my flower and I'm ready to color it. And you can see that it's kind of a funny flower. It's got a really fat stem and big leaves and a smaller bud. Um, but I like it that way. I don't mind. And um, 
you get to decide what your flower looks like. And uh, if you like it, that is all that matters. Um, you want to use waterproof markers because otherwise uh, the color will just rub right off the foil. And if you leave these sit for just a minute, it'll dry and it won't rub off. And um, I really love color, so I'm using nice bright colors, but that's up to you. And if you have colors that make you happy and you like to use them, um, but you don't think they really belong on a flower, it doesn't matter. Just use them anyway, because the fact that you like the color and it makes you happy is the only thing that matters. So we'll just get a little green on here. And you see how quickly I'm coloring. Um, this is up to you also. You can take your time and bring in Lots of colors, add shading and more detail. Draw a little ladybug on one of the leaves. It's up to you. So here's my color. And you can see that I just colored one side, um, which is fine if you're going to hang it on the wall because that's all that'll show. Um, but if you're going to hang it on a mobile or as a sun catcher in the window, you want to do both sides because it'll twirl around as it lies there. So now I'm ready to hang my flower to put a hole in it. So if I put the hole here, it's going to hang this way. And if I put the hole here, it's going to hang like it's growing. But I want my flower to float, so I'm going to put my hole here. So. I get my needle and I just poke it right through there and get myself to a nice size piece and I can just get rid of the extra here and put that away till later. And now we're just going to tie our ends together in a double knot so that we are creating a loop to hang our flower by. And for me, this is the most frustrating part of the project because it's hard to work with these tiny little threads. So give yourself plenty of um, room to work with at the end. Don't make your ends too short, so it's a lot harder to make your knots. And once you've done that, just hold on to your ends and nip off the extra. And now, um, before we hang it, there is one more fun thing we can do. Uh, we can take our pencil and use it as a mold this is big, so I'm going to use something fatter, a marker. We can use it as a mold to give our stem some dimensionality. So here are my stems getting thinner. I'm going to use a pencil and just shape the foil around so that it has a little body and form and you can play around with the leaves or the petals if you want to. And then we take our thread and if you're going to hang it on the wall it's going to look something like this um, or you can I try to make sure that your knot is at the top so that you're less likely to see it the top of the loop and then you can take your stick or your chopstick and thread it right through. Hang around. And then you're gonna get some yarn or you can use more thread or 
um, any type of string you have and tie a piece at tie a piece at each end of the chopstick and bring it up and tie um, the top end to either a nail or a hook in the wall and then you can float your flower. And the last thing I wanted to say is that I really like flowers but I like other things also so um, you can really make whatever you can think of. This is a little butterfly here and you can see a rainbow as well. So it's up to you, but have fun.